Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Tuesday, the 12th of March. A number of agencies will work together to determine what caused a Latam plane to plunge mid-flight yesterday. Paramedics treated 50 people for injuries and four remain in Middlemore Hospital. The Transport Accident Investigation Commission's seizing the cockpit voice and flight data recorders. Aviation Industry Association Chief Executive Simon Wallace says because it's a Chilean aircraft, Chilean authorities will lead the investigation. Similarly, because this was a Boeing 787 aircraft, Boeing will be part of that investigation. A major disruption to Kiwi travellers looking to go to Chicago. Air New Zealand suspending its Auckland to Chicago service from the end of this month until late October with people having to rebook or ask for a refund. It's due to ongoing issues with the availability of serviceable Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines. House of Travel Chief Operating Officer Brent Thomas says this creates a lot of knock-on effects. It's also the rental cars, the accommodation, and any other tours and sightseeing that they've already booked as well, which is going to get impacted. The Greens are warning the government must heed the latest Climate Change Commission advice to meet its own policy promises. A review of the emissions trading scheme has found too many carbon credits are being issued for companies to buy to offset emissions. Greens climate spokesman James Shaw says the government has signalled it wants to heavily rely on the ETS to meet its climate targets. Really this year when the cancer clean car discount that led to a collapse in sales of electric cars that makes it harder to hit our emissions budgets and that means that the emissions trading scheme needs to work harder to achieve the same outcome. Debate over whether money allocated for meeting climate goals should be included in Treasury's books. The cost to meet international targets could cost the government $23 billion by the end of the decade. But documents show Treasury doesn't want the sum included in the government's books alongside other projected future expenses. Former Finance Minister Stephen Joyce says although James Shaw wanted the costs included, it's right to leave them out. There's other things that Treasury, I believe, should have put on the books last year, but that one is not one of them. So it's a, it's a political thing. An expert says our COVID response has proven effective as New Zealand's avoided the global trend of reduced life expectancy. A Lancet Journal study reveals it dropped by 1.6 years for the two years to 2021. But we have one of the lowest numbers of excess deaths in the first two years of the pandemic. Epidemiologist Michael Baker says this is the best outcome we could possibly hope for after a tough time. There's nothing clearer in these data than a message that a country like New Zealand that took a very proactive, collective approach has come through it in much better shape than virtually every other country on earth. In sport, All Blacks winger Sevu Rees is reportedly being targeted by French club Montpellier. Rugby Rama reports that 23 Test Crusader could move to the top 14, with his current New Zealand rugby deal expiring at the end of the season. Rugby league great Jonathan Thurston believes the NRL judiciary should have dished Spencer Lenu a 12-week ban for his racist remark in Las Vegas. The Stars are allowing fans to choose how much they pay for tickets to their ANZ Premiership netball season opener against the Pulse next month. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That is your latest news fix. And we'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB newsroom.